Welcome. I'm the Deadwood Jedi, and today I want to show you uh, a composition that I am incredibly happy about. Uh, I came up with this the other day. This is the white whale of speed comps for me. Um, essentially, I'm, I have a composition where you move at a two to one ratio. You're taking two turns for every one turn the clan boss takes. And I have not seen that out there. I've seen speed comps that go incredibly fast and get close to this, but I haven't seen this out there. And I certainly haven't seen any composition like this where it's tuned where you can actually make it a predictable two to one ratio. Uh, so you can set up your counterattacking, set up your cleanse, you can set up your block debuffs um, and all the other skills that your champions use. So I'm super excited about this and can't wait to show you guys. I do wanna show you a couple things really quickly. One, uh, as you can see on the screen, this is my website, deadwoodjedi.com. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, please do. It's really helpful. And I do have some useful links down here to like Ayumi Love Raid Codex, some other tools that the community has been using, as well as links to my Discord group and email if you guys have questions uh, about you know any of these compositions or just your team in general. I, I've been, I'm trying to be as good as possible about responding to everybody and answering questions on that. Um, over here I have a speed tune list. So we have a bunch of different speed tunes that myself and uh, several uh, friends, uh, collaborators, uh, Napoleon Camembert, Shinso, uh, even Murder Inc. have gone and helped me with. Um, and so I've been posting those up on here and I thought that was super helpful for people. So if you're looking for a specific speed tune, I have some of them listed on here. Um, a fair amount of them, four, three ratios, three, two ratios, uh, endless speed composition I did a video on, uh, unkillable compositions that everybody is trying to do these days. Um, and then down here I have that white whale list, the two to one speed ratio, um, which I'm just super excited about. Um, also we have our speed calculator. Um, and this is where I came up with all these speed tunes. Well, I came up with this speed tune. It's what I've been using for months for my own uh, clan boss team. Uh, but on here, you're able to fill in the speeds of your champions, even select some of the uh, some of the speed champions that uh, have a need to like do turn meter boosts or uh, do speed buffs, that kind of thing. You can even do the skills here, and I'm gonna kind of go over that in just a second here, because what I want to show you, and I have this prop propped up already. I'm going to show you the speeds and how I put it in the calculator for this composition we're going to use right now. So this composition is not for everybody. Um, there's definitely some uh, drawbacks as well as some some great things about it. Um, the drawback is you do need a lot of speed and you need a lot of speed for but only for a couple champions. That's one of the good things. Uh, typically, you're trying to go super fast. Your end game, everybody's going like 260. It, that's crazy to me in this only you only need like two champions going that fast so i have our lead it's going to be tayrell this is not designed for damage it's just designed for proof of concept um which it proves uh but uh, actually let me zoom in here a little bit make this easier for you guys to read i know it's a on the on my screen it's a little harder to get to so we have tayrell here as our lead 282 uh, we have Sandlash going at 261. He's there to extend the speed buffs. And you can see I have his skill right here, three-turn cooldown. High Katoon is going at 232 speed. And you can see I have his speed buff uh, here on his cooldowns. And then uh, Apothecary at 206, also his skills. I have it on a one-turn delay because I want to make sure him and High Katoon aren't using their abilities at the same time. We want to stretch that out. And then Valkyrie, mostly just to keep us alive. She's not a damage dealer. I think if I was actually going to run this composition um, with uh, these, with the champions I have, I would probably not include Valkyrie in it. Or if I were, I'd definitely have a better damage dealer than Tayrell in there. Something like that. I'd mix around with it. Try to find the right, just perfect composition. A Draco would be amazing, right? Um, as always. Uh, but that's kind of the uh, the composition here. Now, you'll see over here, I have all those have all those speeds in there. And you notice I only have the names of like Sandlash, Survivor, High Katoon, Apothecary, only the champions that are actually affecting speed or the length of those buffs um, are included. And that's all I really need to be able to see if it's working or not. So that's what I have in there. You'll see High Katoon goes first and uh, uses his A3 to increase the speed boost of the team. And then as it goes down, you have Apothecary going after that. Sandlash extends those buffs and then High Katoon goes. Apothecary goes, Sandlash extends, and so on and so forth. And you'll notice, like, this is only turn three, four. We're still doing, like, seven, eight, nine 
attacks in a turn. Uh, but it doesn't come on until turn six here. You're going to see we get into that 2 1 speed ratio. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're doing two attacks for every one of the clan boss. And it's going to go like that from here all the way to the point that we die. It is crazy to me that this is even possible so i'm very excited about this i want to show you guys that um i'm going to show you the gear really quick and then i'm going to go ahead and uh after i show you the gear we're going to go ahead and go into the run i have two runs just really quick about the two runs the first one i messed up i screwed up the speed tune and then i recovered it so i'm keeping that in just so you guys can see part of the thought process that goes into uh, finding these different speed tunes. So for me, what I was doing was I'm thinking, huh, how do I how do I get what I want? And what I want is that speed buff going all the time. So I need to make sure Apothecary is putting their buff up, and then there's a gap, and then High Katoon's putting their buff up, and then there's a gap, and Sandlash is helping to bridge those gaps. If I can do that, then the speed tune will work, and that's exactly what ended up happening. The second run is clean. It's just like I had it in the calculator, no mistakes, um, and it works great. So I have both those there for you guys to check out, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the gear, and then we'll show you the runs, and I'll do a little talking, play a little music, and have a little fun, and I'm gonna celebrate a little bit because I think this is super cool and amazing, and I'm really glad I get to share it with you guys. So there we go. So I'm not going to bore you by talking about the numbers you yourselves can see on the screen. The one thing I want to point out though is that while the super fast speeds you're going to see on Tayrell and Sandlash Survivor, I had to use three speed sets, it's not optimized, none of this gear really is. But outside of them, I have three champions that are in pretty reasonable gear. Uh, I was able to get High Katoon and Apothecary and Valkyrie in sets of gear that is beneficial to them doesn't have insane speeds i feel like if you are even a mid-game player those three speeds are pretty reasonable to get to and also remember this is for ultimate nightmare uh, i haven't tried to find a tune that works for nightmare or lower but it should exist so uh, definitely something you guys can fool around with and that's a great use for the calculator there to find something that is more reasonable for you it can be used on your on your clan boss team so we're going to go into the run here in just a moment. I had done a previous one, uh, but the <laughs> recording didn't uh, go nearly as well as I had hoped, and so I ended up having to cut it, got a little corrupted. But this run here is going to be uh, perfect, just like it has in the calculator. We have to do a little manual in the beginning here. Um, it's just like the calculator. I'm not changing any of the skills that we're using or the timing of them, but sometimes, and you'll find this often, the AI will prioritize skills in a strange way that's why i'm having to manual apothecary's first two turns here or won't use skills as we predict them so sometimes you do have to go in there and manually adjust it or uh, at least pay attention to what you're doing that's why testing so important but as we come into here uh, you'll see tayrell everybody's taking their turns we have the speed boost from high katoon and this is going to be important when Apothecary goes, I need to manual this speed boost right here. And after that, I can click it on auto and it'll go just as predicted. Um, real quick, guys, this is a template. This is a basis upon which uh, you can create your own tunes and make this better and more damage centric. I realize that running a team with Apothecary, High Katoon, and Sandlash Survivor is probably not going to be optimal for most people. But one of the great things about this is it has, like I said, that template upon which you can build your speed tunes. So it should be possible to create something similar to this just with Apothecary and High Katoon. Should be possible to do that with a bunch of other legendary champions like Mashald or Siffy or Krisk or even Duchess. Um, so those are things I want you guys to be able to think about and hopefully you guys will be able to improve upon it and create more. All I ask is that you share it with me so that I can see that. I, I would love to celebrate your guys' achievements if you can come up with a tune like this that does crazy amounts of damage. That would be fantastic. And we're coming right now on turn six. So right after this stun from the clan boss, we're gonna be in that two one speed tune. There goes Valkyrie on her first turn. 
Sorry for the picture frames are going so fast it can't keep up. Apothecary High Katoon gets a speed boost. Sandlash Reviver attacks. Stun goes off Tyrell. Valkyrie comes in for the second attack. There goes Apothecary a second time. High Katoon a second time. There's Sandlash Survivor's second blow. And we're going to finish it off. Yes, Tyrell. Boys and girls, we found the white whale. We just found the white whale. Glorious. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys are getting as big a kick out of this as I am. And if you are, please subscribe, uh, like the video. It really means a lot to me. And uh, I really appreciate the comments that I get. I try to reply to all of them. Uh, same thing if you're in the Discord group. I generally get to everybody's questions. So until next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. Enjoy the video.